So I think uh, there are two things here. Firstly, we need to slow down the rate at which we're emitting greenhouse gases, and then we need to stop them. And then eventually we're going to need to actually start taking them back out of the atmosphere. And each of those steps, the, the slowing down, the stopping, the reversing, it's going to take a huge amount of, of capital and effort uh, to achieve. Uh, so it, it's going to be a, a very uh, tall order to do, but the longer we leave it, uh, the more uh, slowly we reduce emissions and bring ourselves to a point of zero emissions, the more work we're going to have to do to take carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere, and that's going to be uh, a very expensive thing to do. So the, the longer we leave it, the, the more expensive it's going to get. So um, geoengineering um, has many, the, the question has many dimensions. So feasible, some people would just look at the, the technical question there, can it actually be done? Uh, but it's a lot more than just can it physically be done, it's also can it socially be done, ethically, is it possible to coordinate it because this would require international coordination. If we have the problems around coordinating reducing emissions um, because of all the conflicts uh, that, that that creates, how are we going to be able to coordinate geoengineering? So this is an unanswered question in this area. Also, it's important to understand that geoengineering is a, a term that covers the, the entire field. So there are a huge range of different proposed techniques and they're each going to have different kinds of challenges as to what can be done. So are they feasible? Some of them we know would work technically, but we don't yet understand how they could be made to work socially.